All right, here we go. This is going to be a 45 auto test. And we're going to be testing the 200 grain plus P Spear Gold Dot against the 230 grain plus P Federal HST. So we've done both of these in the past uh, separately, but we're going to see how they do head to head now. So here is our Gold Dot. Nice big hollow point cavity, super deep. Really good looking round, and same thing with the HST. Nice wide hollow point cavity. And both looking really, really good. So we're gonna be going through the jugs today. We got 10 lined up with four layers of cotton t-shirt on each side. And we're gonna be going through this short barrel. This is the Rock Island GICS. It is a three and a half inch. So we're gonna send both through the chronograph, see what kind of numbers we can get. Then we'll send them through these jugs. Here we go. All right, first up is gonna be the Gold Dot 200 grain plus P. First shot, 1034. Second shot, 1030. And third shot, 992. So that was actually really good. Um, every time I've tested, I think this is the third time, it's been over a thousand feet per second. So that's a pretty hot one. So let's see, our low is 992.6, our high is 1034, and our average on that is 1019. So we'll put energy foot pounds up with this one. And then next up, we're gonna see how the HST does. All right, this is the HST. First shot, 860. Second shot, 860.1. And third shot, 852.7. So that one was very consistent. So it was higher than last time. I believe these ones are rated at 950, but we're using that short barrel, so it's pretty much expected. So we got a low of 852.7, got a high of 860.2, and our average on that is 857.6. So we'll put energy foot pounds up for this one. Then we're gonna send them through the jug. Let's see where both of these plus piece can do. All right, we are stemming back to 15 feet. First one up is the gold dot. Let's see how we did. That one was a soaker for sure. All right, let's check it out. So we do have our cotton t-shirt here on the ground. Didn't go too far this time. And we have our entry hole. Nice big entry hole. And a nice exit hole. So that is our four layers. And looks like our circle fell on the ground actually came off that jug i don't know if we've had that happen yet but that thing is coming in with some major energy let's see so there's our circle that we always aim for let's see i'm pretty sure might have got it right on the top so still dead center of that jug so that's really good and it's getting a little bit windy out here so 
probably have stuff blowing around. But anyway, so there is our first jug. Once again, I think, like I said, this is the third time I've tested this. And it just turns these jugs inside out. Got some major energy dump on these things. Got 45 out of that short barrels. Coming in with some power. So this is pretty much entry. There's nothing really to show other than that explosion. Man, that's crazy. And then we do have our exit hole right in here. But just tore that thing to shreds. That is awesome. Tons of power coming through. So there we go. That is our first jug. Then we got our second jug coming in nice and straight. Yep, just right on top of that circle. So still a pretty good shot. Big entry hole. Got to split up here. Split the circle. Split the whole right side. It looks like we blocked the back pretty good by the handle. And we have another good exit hole. Look pretty good. So that is jug number two. Then we got jug number three, and it sounds like it's rolling around in there. So we got our entry hole right there on that circle. And it did not come out. It definitely looks like it tried, but wasn't able to. So next up, we're going to shoot the HST. And we'll com compare them both at the end. Here we go. All right, here we go. This one is the HST. Stepping back to 15 feet. see how that one did all right so our cotton t-shirt is up here on the table Let's see if we can unroll it so we do have our entry hole nice entry hole on that one and a exit hole that is our four layers of cotton t-shirt and same thing as the last one they blow on the ground rocks and stuff in here there we go looks like we got the same exact shot identical shot so that's good for a comparison but right there on the top of that circle it came in with quite a bit of energy doesn't look like uh, as much as that gold dot but still looks like it's doing some pretty good damage so there we go we split that thing whole front end split back here by the handle and a huge exit hole right there and that thing is super jagged, so it looks like we're getting some good expansion on that. There we go. That is jug number one. We got jug number two on the ground also. And same thing. Looks like it's coming down just a little bit now. Nice entry hole. Split the whole right side. I guess split the bottom too. So these things are packing a punch for sure. Big old split. And we do have an exit hole. Same thing. Nice star pattern on that one. That is jug number two. We got jug number three. Let's see. Actually, it sounds like it's rolling around in this one. And it looks like the bullets are veering off just a little bit, but still pretty center. Nice star pattern on that entry. And no exit. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it punched the back of that third one pretty good and then we got the same kind of mark on that fourth one but did not make it in so we both went through three jugs so we're going to pull both these and see what they look like here we go all right check these things out we got some massive expansion on both of them they both got some perfect expansion perfect mushrooming look at the size of these things they expanded huge really cool so they both did really well this one probably had over 100 foot pounds more energy on this one but did really really good picture perfect expansion on that build back perfectly big old gold dot and then same thing with this hst huge expansion perfect flowering on that one these uh copper 
copper jacket right here those pedals and same with these uh, lead ones are pretty sharp actually and those pedals peeled right back over that base so still getting quite a bit of energy through that short barrel so that's really good I can't imagine them out of a full size they'd probably be doing really good but very satisfied with that so I think this time what we're gonna start doing is getting uh, measurements with calipers I don't have them out here with me but back when we get to the house and uh, do our steel shots and all that I'll put a uh, caliper measurements on all the rounds so you guys can get an idea how big they're actually getting check those things out man perfect expansion really really good and they both went through three jugs so pretty good amount of penetration on those two but there we go that was 200 grain plus p gold dot versus 230 grain hst out of that three and a half inch barrel there we go